Space Launch Delta-30 provided range support for the United States Space Force's tactically responsive Launch-2 mission on Sunday, June 13th from Vandenberg Space Force Base. The launch decision authority for this mission was Colonel Robert Long, Space Launch Delta-30 commander. Space Launch Delta-30 provided launch permission, range safety, area clearing, and weather support for the launch. So the 30th Operations Support Squadron typically provides a wide variety of support to any launch here at the Western Range. Uh, our weather officers provide on-console support by evaluating weather conditions for the rocket launch to make sure that uh, the conditions are safe. The TAC RL-2 mission was executed by the Small Launch and Targets Division within the Space and Missile Systems Center's Launch Enterprise, and the payload was sent into orbit using Northrop Grumman's Pegasus XL rocket. This, this is a whole new program for us, and they're operating on a much shorter timeline. So whereas the timeline would normally be you know, years in development for a payload and months of planning to get uh, a launch date set and lead up to that date and actually have a successful mission, the entire timeline for this program was much shorter. The specific mission for TACRL, you know, being part of a demonstration of a brand new capability, it's just really exciting to be a part of that as we start a new uh, capability for the Space Force. We also have intel operators that are on console, uh, making sure that there's uh, no threats to the launch process from any of our adversaries. And we also have our, our system maintenance uh, flight is also on standby to make sure all the equipment, the weather sensors uh, are up and operational to support the mission. For this specific Pegasus launch, we also add in our air airfield support. So our airfield team will be here providing services and support to the L-1011 aircraft as well as the air crew to make sure they get off the ground safely and then return safely after the mission is complete. Our weather flight is also then, uh, the challenge for them is to provide weather support at both the launch box area to make sure the weather is safe for the Pegasus rocket to launch, but also providing that, that weather support at the airfield to make sure a safe uh, departure and return for the aircraft and the route in between. So looking at the weather from the airfield out to the launch box and making sure the weather conditions are safe. Okay. I think you did answer the question about the challenges. So. Um, was there anything that was actually particularly easy for the, for the uh, for OSS? So the aspects of the launch support that we do typically, uh, a lot of that is very similar to what we provide for this, uh, besides the challenge of some of the, the extra stuff that we do in addition. Okay. Um, the fact that this launch, uh, the launch evolution was, is, actually kind of measured in weeks and not months or years. Was that a, uh, a factor for OSS's uh, support? So the fact that this launch had a 21-day call-up uh, versus the typical months standby for a launch that we can plan for, uh, the challenge with that was scheduling, right? Making sure we had the personnel available to support the launch when we didn't really know when it was going to happen. Uh, otherwise, a lot of our processes uh, are about the same, and we're always prepared to support anything Western Range needs us to do. Uh, let's gauge the, uh, the morale and feelings of the of, uh, OSS uh, team members. Sure. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is something that's kind of it's unique. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a new capability, uh, an emerging capability for Space Force and for the Air Force. So uh, how do your people feel about this? Definitely the members of the OSS are excited to be a part of this launch. Uh, I know for a Pegasus launch, this is the first time in eight years they've had a Pegasus launch from here on the Western Range. So that's exciting to do something we don't get to do very often. 